Hi, my name is Roman Khan and in this video I'll be showing you how to add XML Threat Protection Policy inside MuleSoft API Manager. I'm currently logged into API Manager and what I have here is an API Manager setup configured to point to this particular endpoint. So using Postman, I can post an XML data to this particular API. Currently, there are no policies configured to this API. I can post any additional data to this particular API. For example, if I want to post something like a dummy, I can do that. So this allows users to post any dummy data or large data to your API, which can potentially cause your memory consumption on your server. So in order to avoid that, let's go back to our API manager and click on policies and click on apply new policy and select XML threat protection policy. So the XML threat protection policy has certain settings which can be applied against your API. So by default, there is a value of minus one for all these settings, which means there is no limit. So for example, maximum node depth, a value of minus one indicates there is no limit to maximum node depth. So a user can have any number of nodes in the XML. So let's try to limit the node depth as four. And for attribute count, let's try to limit that as one, which means we can have only one attribute per node. And for maximum child count, let's limit that to four, which indicates we can have maximum number of uh, four children for any element in the XML document. For maximum text length, let's limit that to 10. And attribute text length as 10. And for comment length, which is the XML comment, let's try to limit that to 10 as well. So apply this policy. In order to test this policy, I have resized the windows. On the left, we have API Manager, and on the right side, I have Postman. Let me click on View Detail for this particular policy so we can see the details of the XML Threat Protection Policy. Now, let's go back to Postman and try to test out each setting. So the first setting is maximum node depth of four. Let me remove this dummy node. And let's see the current node depth. So we have a root node, which is the depth one. And then we have identity, which is depth two. Inside identity, an item, which is depth three. Let's try to create this depth three. And let's add another one, depth four. So this should not give us any errors. So we got a success response. Now adding another node inside depth four should not give me an error. As you can see the error description, it says no depth count has been exceeded and maximum allowed is four. So this validates our first setting, which is maximum node depth four. Let's go to the second one, which says maximum attribute count per element as one. I'll remove this fifth node. Now let's try to add a new attribute. Maybe uh, I'll say ID equal to something. Send. So this gave us an error indicating attribute count has been exceeded. Maximum allowed is one. Let's move on to the next setting. Maximum child count as four. Let's see how many nodes we already have. One, two, three, four. So we already have four nodes. And if I add child five, this should give me an error. So this now says child count exceeded maximum allowed is four. And for the next setting, maximum text length 10. Let's try to modify the text length. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So now let me add four, five, six. So my total characters are 11 now. As you see, it says maximum text length has exceeded maximum allowed is 10. So I'll remove 
now we can see the success so moving on to the next settings maximum attribute length 10 we can validate this by modifying our existing attribute so we have two so three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven you can see the error indicating attribute length has exceeded maximum allowed is ten so if i remove one this gives me a success response and the last one maximum comment length as 10 and we have a comment here already which is length as 10 and i'll add a additional number to it which makes it 11 and you can see the comment length has been exceeded maximum allowed is 10. so as you saw we have now protected our api so that users cannot post random data and they will not misuse the api hope this was helpful thank you